Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Taurus, we're going to throw them down for you for February 2022. We're just going to hop right into it. Oh, how many did you have pop out? Good Lord. Four of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You got some coming in that you are not looking at. Or you're trying to offer someone something and they're not looking at you. Figure it out. Queen of Cups is self-love. Ten of Pentacles is abundance. Could be a family situation. Let's dive a little deeper, shall we, friends? All right. All right. Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February 2022. I'm feeling one more. Huh. There's confusion. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's not bad. Rough. Not bad. Three pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's cooperation. Stabilizing of the foundation. All right. Let's see if we can catch the energy of the person you're dealing with. Bad blood, bad attitudes. I'm going to get a clarifier on that Prince Wand. First blush, just the first thing popping into my head is somebody ending their bullshit player ways. That's just first blush. Taurus, I don't think you're playing. I think the person you're dealing with maybe. We'll get clarity. We'll get clarity in a minute. All right, give me a flyer. Give me a flyer. Hi. Somebody's broken hearted. How oh, hot diggity dog. All right. Karma. Ace of Cups. Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign that you are dealing with. I was just bringing this up in the Gemini. Yeah. Yep, just brought this up in the Gemini reading. The, the Queen of Wands is the only one with her legs spread. Any deck you see, pretty much. I think I know what this is all about. Now we're tipping down. Oh, boy. What happened? What happened? Dare I ask. Can I request a flyer, please? Give me a flyer. Hi. Yep, ten of cups reversed. Some shit went down, didn't it? Yep. Why is seven of cups? Page of cups reversed. There's options. You pulled a cup back from somebody. Somebody pulled a cup back from you. There's not a lot of communication going on right now. Not a lot of apologizing happening. Probably leads us into the bad blood. Why is the Six of Cups reversed here? For how you feel about the person you're dealing with, Taurus. Why the Six of Cups reversed? Nine of Swords. I feel like an honest conversation happened. Hmm. King of Wands. Oh, this just got windy in a big hurry. Nine of 
wands. Your guard is up, or their guard is up. Somebody's behind walls. Could literally be, be behind walls. Walled off. Honest conversation happened, bad blood. Dare I? Oh, why not? Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is going away from the Queen of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. The person you were dealing with may have given their cup to somebody else, and I think you found out about it. Why the Queen of Swords reversed for what you think of them? Oh, that's salty. Oh, that's salty. King of Cups. Negative emotion. Bad attitude. There's a pull. There's a connection. Poker face. That undertone of a pissy attitude, but not expressing it. Definite connection here. Is that Seven of Cups again? Options, options, options. Why is the Prince of Wands reversed here for your intended actions toward them? Two of Cups. Well, that's good news. The Tower. Why the tower? This is actually extremely positive. Something's got to give. If there's any way to save this, it's putting in the work and things have to change. Like now. Wasn't I talking about player ways earlier? There's a prince, a knight of cups, riding away from a queen of pentacles up here. Somebody's got to end their shit and end it now. That's, that's an ultimatum. But, there's a hierophant down here. So, we'll delve into that in a minute. Why? Why karma? Okay. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Impatience. Somebody wanting to resurrect something and being impatient about it. Seven of Wands reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Somebody doesn't want something to be over. They want to resurrect it. They're getting impatient. But they don't want to deal with the problem at hand either. King of Pentacles reversed. Somebody could kind of be a bum, could be bumming around. There could be money or financial issues. That's a mismatched power couple right there is what it is. Six of Wands reverse. Not a victorious moment at all. Somebody wants their victory and can't get it. Somebody wants their cake and to eat it too, but they can't. Why the Ace of Cups? For how they feel about you. Strength. They want to start over. They want to start a new cycle. But they're holding back. And they're being held back. Maybe they're trying to battle their demons. Maybe they feel like you're trying to battle some demons. Maybe they feel like you're holding back. 
Nine of Pentacles. Maybe they... Mm, not quite the Empress. Unthrilled. They feel like you're holding back. You're pushing their cup away. You push their cup away. You'd rather be independent. You push their cup away. You held back. Why the Ten of Swords for what they think of you? Why the Ten of Swords? Eight of Cups. They feel like you just soon move on. Probably feel a little bit betrayed or stabbed in the back or feel like they betrayed you. Stabbed you in the back. Maybe they think it might be time to move on. Six of Pentacles, they can't fix this. Temperance, Queen of Wands reversed, Eight of Swords reversed. One foot in, one foot out. It's almost an energy of ignoring. Just wanting the dust to settle. Wanting the burden to end. Okay. Wow. They don't want to end things, but they want backstabbing and betrayal and burdens to be ended. They want that crap done. They feel like you want that crap done. Wow. All I have to say is wow. Their intended actions toward you is the Seven of Cups. Why the Seven of Cups? Why the Seven of Cups? Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, Prince of Wands. Wow. Emperor. <sighs> they want forward movement. They want control back. They don't want conflict. They don't want things to change. They don't want to have to change. They want to be able to have their options open. Nine of Wands. Three of Wands reversed. Sorry, eight of wands reversed, three of wands reversed. A lot of wands. You are dealing with a fire sign. There's a huge fire. There's, I mean, there's a little bit of everybody here, but that was like a face full of fire right there. Shit's got to change and shit's got to change now, but I don't want things to change. I'm not going to wait around for you to make up your mind. Wow. So you want to pursue this, you want to fix this, but you want to fix it on your terms. I don't blame you. I think some unnecessary shit went down here. Not sure why. It's not my story. But if it's your story, okay. Hmm. You want to work on it and fix it. We're going to have to go through the bottom of the deck. Talk to me about this Hierophant. Mm. Got to watch time to work at the bread and butter job at noon. Closing of the gap. Fixing the commitment. Slow and steady wins the race. Closing of an emotional gap. death. It, the death of old things and the rebirth of new things. It's forward moving at a slow steady pace. It's fixing it. It's putting in the effort. Why the wheel of the year for the person you're dealing with?
Page of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Cups in the upright, at least returning to a place where the energy is more positive. Page of Wands. Could be an end to the immature energy. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's a start. It's a start. Gosh, I don't want to. But I'm gonna. Okay. There's that four cups. Somebody put some shit in jeopardy. But they want the sun. They want the healing. They want the connection. They want the happiness. They want to give you their cup. But at the same time, there's that air of player ways. But to get this chariot moving, somebody's got to hang up their old stuff. Somebody's got to hang up their saddle. Hang it up for good, or it's going to put a family situation potentially in jeopardy. All right, talk to this. Queen of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the Moon. Okay, all the lies and the secrets and the BS gotta stop. But if somebody wants in out of the cold, it's all gotta stop. There's, there's potential for a third party situation here. There's secrets, there's lies, there's deception, there's demons that aren't being defeated. But if you want a fresh start, you want to save the connection, somebody's got to hang up the player ways. Wow, I hate readings like this. There's potential for a new start and a leveling of the playing field. But everybody's at, there's another hermit reverse. Attitudes have to change. And the painful BS has to stop. The secret's got to come out. The secret's got to come out. Because if the old cycle doesn't end, a new cycle can't begin. Somebody's got to start speaking truth here. All right. Let's get a wisdom. Now that I have a buffet on my table. Honest conversation needs to take place here. Oh my gosh, how many flew out? Three. Really? Really? Alright, let's go for one. Let's go for one. Three again! Okay. Milk and honey and why? There's two. Okay. I'll do two. Five plus one plus six. One plus three is four. Milk and honey, number fifteen. Forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. Oh, boy, that's mending. 51. My bad. Oh, even better. The taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. As far as me reading mending, maybe y'all need a little mending. Maybe that was a Freudian slip of some kind. Sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding, and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude, and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. Why? Number 
Motives driving intention, the power of knowing the why. We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way that we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this? And why did I say that? Spend some time in introspection. The answers may be surprising. Listen to the messages from your intuition, from the knowing deep within you. What does it tell you about yourself and others? In the end, life is all about being loved, miracles, and a deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today. Why? Taurus, thanks for coming down and hanging out. I appreciate you. Like, share, subscribe, hit all the buttons, I mean. It'd be super cool of you if you did. If you want to come back, hang out more often, I'd love to have you. I send you off with peace, love, and light. Be blessed. Have one hell of a February, and I'll catch you when I catch you. Take care.